Now look here, Morell. I'll give you exactly ten minutes to hand over Miss Manders and Salvini. We've got the girl. I'll come straight down. Remember, ten minutes. I'm sorry to appear distracted, but I cannot make up my mind whether to kill you now or later. Well, I hope he makes it later. Ah, oh, my dear young lady. Now you've seen your grandfather, I hope you've changed your mind. No. You still think Captain Drummond will help you? I know he will. I'm sorry to dash your hopes, but your friend doesn't happen to be Captain Drummond. And anyway, at this moment, he is my prisoner. You're just saying all this to try to frighten me. Okay, what we've got to do is try and escape. That's it. We're not weak yet. <sighs> this man, Morell's just a big bluff. <laughs> he didn't even discover that I'm not Bulldog Drummond. Oh, well, if you fool him so far, you can go on fooling him. We must reach that spiral staircase. Yes, but how? Through that cellar. I've got a great idea. Shh, not so loud. There may be somebody outside this door. Look, shh, look. I'm going to disguise myself as Morell. Here's his coat, here's his umbrella, and here's his filthy hat. What about the hair? Filthy. Then we must use the rug. And now the door. Morell's got some secret way of opening it. Mr. Longworth, had you not entered my house through the roof of my conservatory, I might have been less suspicious. I must apologize for appearing abstracted, but I have decided to kill you now. I defy you, Morell. Nevertheless, I shall have to kill you, and I'm going to do it entirely by myself in the tunnel. We're going to... I'm a little short-sighted, but who are you exactly? 